Hello, music fans. I'm going to give you a brief review of the TDK Wireless Sound Cube that I just purchased. First, a disclaimer. I'm not affiliated with TDK, nor has this unit been sent to me as part of any attempt to garner a favorable review. Even though I'll be playing an audio sample recorded in a controlled environment, I urge anyone viewing this test to go and try it out for themselves. Let's get going. The first thing you'll notice after unboxing the V513 is that it does not include speaker grills. This was obviously an intentional design choice, but it means that you should take extra care to keep sharp objects and prying fingers away from the speaker cones. If you need to transport your speakers often, this model may not be the best choice for you. Looking like a small subwoofer with a top handle, the V513 has a minimalist design with only two knobs in the front, which serve multiple functions. It comes with a credit card sized remote control with access to the functions you'll need most often. Construction is mostly smooth black plastic with perforated metal along the edges covering the two inch drivers. The aluminum knobs are surrounded by LED status lights that might be difficult to view in bright sunlight or from high angles. According to TDK, the SoundCube contains four full range two inch drivers, two five and a half inch passive radiators, and a single five and a half inch subwoofer. Considering the number of speakers, this is a pretty compact package measuring only nine inches on each side. The back has inputs for power supply, auxiliary three and a half millimeter jack, and a USB charger. There are no provisions for battery power, so unfortunately you'll be tethered to the nearest outlet. I've listened to a few 2.1 units, and as often as the case, the speaker size and power output make the biggest difference in sound quality. TDK has found a nice balance here between size, power, and design. It's not going to be all things to all people, so if you like a deep, rich bass and really crisp highs, then most compact systems will probably fall short. The small 3-watt drivers usually emphasize the mid-range, and a 15-watt 5.5-inch woofer can't be expected to punch out a low rumble. The placement of the cube will also affect how it sounds, so experiment in your room to see what suits you. Unlike most compact systems, you can adjust the bass and treble to further customize your sound. For this demo, I'll be playing through Bluetooth connection. I'll be close micing the front subwoofers with a large diaphragm microphone that is often used for voiceovers. You'll probably notice the bass frequencies more in this sample clip. Next, I'll play back the same sample from a stereo recorder. This will give you a better idea of the stereo separation, as well as the overall frequency distribution. For some types of music, I prefer the surround mode, which seems to flatten the frequency curve a bit and tone down the mid-range peaks. Like any other speaker system out there, you'll probably notice subtle differences based on your room acoustics and your speaker placement. Setup is a breeze. Sound quality is very good. 27 watts of surround sound power will keep the party going, and you can even keep the smartphone charged up. I wish there were a battery pack option, larger display, collapsible top handle, and speaker guards, but I won't hold my breath for the V514. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you found this review useful. See you next time.